Hi, it's Carmen Weininger. Welcome to the Science Behind the Saddle series of videos that take you in depth to each component of our modular saddle system. Watch them all to find out how every piece works and can be customized to give you a remarkable and shock absorbing ride. As soon as horses are introduced to our saddles, rave reviews start coming in. We hear about a whole range of unexpected changes because horses in our system are just happier and they express it. Not just from riding and training upgrades, but also people tell us they're calmer when they're grooming and tacking or they're getting cleaner reports from their body workers. There's a reason that so many veterinarians recommend EQ. Most of this video today will be devoted to showing you clips of horses doing the same work in their own saddle and then in EQ. We're going to show you three very different horse and rider pairs, but they all have one thing in common. Each of the horses made it very clear how much they prefer to be ridden in EQ over their own saddles. We'll start by showing you a Grand Prix horse ridden by a trainer. We'll go on to a working student on an elderly horse and finish with an amateur who's bringing along her own young horse. So all different things for you to see. Why does our system have such a profound effect on horses? If a horse, a human, or any living thing is in chronic pain, we evolve ways to compensate so we can still achieve basic functions in our daily lives. Most of us riders know what it means to push through pain, and our horses do too. As prey animals, they're genetically wired to hide pain, and most of them do, so they don't get picked off the herd by the predators. When we pressure test conventional saddles, we find more than half of them don't fit well at all, but the riders don't know it. These saddles at best restrict the horses, at worst they cause pain with every ride. When our saddle goes on and relieves that pain, we found that some horses will no longer tolerate their own saddles, that they seem to function in fine up till then, and you'll see this in some of the videos. There isn't any other saddle that provides the EQ shock absorbing ride that stabilizes the rider and simultaneously lets the horse move freely. The upgrades are instantly obvious, especially in young horses who don't have a high pain tolerance yet, and in older horses who appreciate getting some relief. A highly trained horse in the prime of life might take several days to gradually relax and to trust that the improved experience of being in our saddle is real. This is why we insist on a two-week test ride before we sell any saddle. We want to be sure that riders have time to fully explore and experience the EQ effect. If you're curious about the design and function of the saddle, how it increases the rider's connection, or want to understand more about how we combine science with the art of saddle fitting, we've got a lot of other videos on the EQ Saddle Science YouTube channel that focus on these areas. Today, we're looking just at the effect on horses immediately after being put into our saddle. So a word of gentle warning, none of the videos that you're about to see were taken for these purposes, instructional purposes. So some of the footage is a little bit rough, but it's very authentic. I'm going to start with some films from our archives. These were taken in Florida during our testing sessions with Dr. Hillary Clayton in 2016. The first two horses you're about to see were introduced to our saddle system on a Monday. They were ridden in it again on Tuesday, and we conducted the formal data gathering sessions on the Wednesday, so these horses used our saddles for three days in a row. Both of them, when they were put back into their own saddles on Wednesday for the tests, expressed rather violent disapproval, shocked their riders, and even surprised us back then when we were first experiencing our system's effects. Now we see and hear about changes like this all the time. As you watch these clips, Keep this in mind, when the white saddle pad is on, it's the conventional saddle on the horse, and when you see the black saddle pad, it's our EQ saddle science system with the EQ Flex dynamic panels. We're going to start with a syndicated Grand Prix horse who was wearing a high-end saddle that had been fitted by one of the industry's well-known professionals. As the trainer said, an effort had been made. This horse had begun to have performance issues, but the source of the problem was mysterious, and until we showed up and changed the saddle, it hadn't been suspected as the cause. Here's the horse in the EQ saddle with a black pad. He's wearing pressure measuring equipment, which you might be able to see. 
The rider has telemetry and data gathering gear around her waist, and there's an antenna fastened to her helmet, which is transmitting real-time information. Every horse in our testing sessions rode the same pattern. In this part here, as soon as the horse turns onto the short side, he's going to strike off in canter, left lead. There, just like that. Now watch what happens when he's put back into his own saddle after being in our system for three days in a row. It's the same pattern, down the center line, turn left, and canter on the short side. You can see the discomfort from the extreme tilt of his head As the rider asks for canter, the horse answers with a hard no. She gathers him up to try the canter again, and as you see her slide her outside leg back to prepare for the depart, he says no again. She wisely requested permission to retire him from the rest of the test. Now, so we can all be sure it's clear there wasn't any resentment in the prior depart, I'm going to show it to you again. This is our saddle. And you can see he strikes off willingly and canters off happily. Finally, let's look in slow motion. So many times, the saddle is the cause of training or behavior issues that look just like this. Then, when we do nothing except replace the painful saddle with an EQ saddle, this happens. This horse has been riding in an EQ saddle ever since these tests and is currently still competing at the Grand Prix level in it. In our next vignette, you'll see a saddle contribute to the horse's fight or flight response. When a horse is in a state of arousal, they will go to fight or flight behavior pretty rapidly and pain, which could be from an ill-fitting saddle, can certainly cause this kind of arousal. It's amazing how often spooking and other behavioral problems stop completely when the source of pain is identified and removed. We're going now to look at the barn's working student who participated in our tests on her own horse. The horse, a saddlebred, is 20 years old in these video clips, and the two had a long and very close partnership. So when the horse refused to canter down the long side in his own saddle, she was quite surprised. This part of the pattern calls for them to come down the long side, and when they reach the corner, canter a 10-meter circle on the left lead. At least, that was the plan. And his rider, who's shocked by his unexpected behavior, nearly falls off. Now watch the pair repeat the movement in our flexing saddle system. This is about 15 minutes later, and absolutely nothing in the arena has changed. The horse is obviously more connected, he's much more rideable. Now they go down the long side, he proceeds, he canters the 10 meter circle without incident. If you're looking closely, you might see that he gives the end of the arena a slight look, but that's a far cry from running away from it, and there's no denying how much more fluid and comfortable he looks now. We're going to finish with some recent clips of an amateur rider who's bringing along her own Dutch harness horse. This is a horse that had been using a professionally fitted saddle, but now that he's maturing and the rider's contemplating starting to compete him in dressage, she contacted us to try a saddle and shot a video of herself in her own saddle so we could use it to help choose something for her two-week test ride. Now, this is mixing things up a bit because it's a conventional saddle and it's on a black saddle pad. You can see the horse is unbalanced, he's unsteady, he's constantly changing his head and neck position as he tries to get comfortable, and he and the rider seem disassociated. There's some positives for sure. He's a nice mover, he's tracking up, but he's not through in the back. As he goes down the long side, you can see his lack of balance as he weaves, throwing his haunches in, then straightening. The next video, taken a week or so later, shows their very first ride and very first trot in the EQ saddle. Immediately, the horse is so much steadier in the contact, his back is relaxed, his steps are much more rhythmical, and then something strange happens. The rider doesn't realize that he's trying to stretch. It takes several strides before she figures it out and slips the reins to allow it and listen to what she says. He wants to just stretch. That is the weirdest thing. I can never stretch him this early. About a week later, still during the two-week test ride, 
The pair went through a local 4-H horse show. After just a few rides, you can see the upgrades have become embedded, the connection between horse and rider has been established, and the horse has a much more consistent outline. He's straighter, and although he's already a good mover, there's a more clear overstep and a much better rhythm. Let's finish by watching the trot walk downward transition in the horse's old saddle and then in our EQ. He's tense, hollow, braced, and almost jigging into the walk. And now relaxed, stretching, responsive to a light aid, and note the lipstick, the foam at the corners of his mouth that confirms his relaxed jaw. As we've seen over and over again through these clips, even a high-end, professionally fitted saddle can be painful or restrictive to the horse. When the saddle doesn't fit, the horse has only two choices, to suffer or to protest. Sometimes the protests are subtle, like the Dutch harness horse who was tense and inconsistent. Perhaps there's a saddle-related reason for things like head tossing, stumbling, excessive tail swishing, or taking the wrong lead. Other times, like in our first video clips, the protest is not subtle at all. Don't we, as riders, have a responsibility to give them the best possible experience of being ridden? The point is this, many times what presents as a behavior problem or a training issue will absolutely disappear if you give the horse a better saddling experience. Because each of our saddles has almost endless adjustability, we make sure that everyone is custom fitted for each horse. There's a video that goes into the way we do angle matching if you're curious about how we get that done. Between the moving, flexing panels and our dedication to superior fit, expected things to happen, often instantly. If you'd like to know more about any of the horse rider combinations that we featured in these videos, or you want to talk with us about your own situation, please reach out. We're here to help and have a dedicated team of saddle experts ready to answer all your questions and to get you going with a two-week test ride. What will your horse do?